Hi Stampers, this is Diane Cisneros and uh, I wanted to do a video for you. I went ahead and posted one this morning of uh, the Stampin' Up! demonstration but tonight I um, have been playing with this and I've used some DSP to make envelopes but then um, I wanted to make uh, envelopes for these little cards. I made four of them and as you can see here are a couple of envelopes I made and they fit perfectly so I'm going to make a little package of four and I wanted to show you uh, how I have learned how to use this uh, okay my card is was my intention was four by four but um, since my envelope is going to be four by four dirty fingers um, I cut it my little card like 1 16th on two sides shorter so that it would fit in this envelope so my piece of paper which is going to be uh, crumb cake is going to be 6 and 7 eighths by 6 and 7 eighths and I'm going to start at three and a half so here's my cardstock I'm going to start this is the only time we'll be using three and a half. I'm going to use this little score tool. And I'm got there's a score score line right here. Three and a half. And I'm going to score down the line. I like to punch first, but I keep forgetting. Okay, so now you see this little thing right here? I'm no longer at three and a half. This has to be on my score line. Punch. Score. Pay attention to that. Punch. Score. Punch and score. Okay. Now I'm going to use this little corner rounder up here to do, I'm going to just do the two opposite ends and then I can move this out. So I'm going to use my dirty score uh, bone folder. I really like the way these come out. And here I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put my rounded one up I'm going to put some tape okay that's all there is to it that's a four by four and my little card just slides right in there perfect and then I'm going to score this down now when I get these done I will go ahead and put something on the outside I haven't I've got to make one more and this is the card I made uh, just for your information um, I've used that birch paper before I got it from the thankful tablescape simply created kit on page 18 and it looks like uh, this it's in a roll and it's three or four sheets thick I've used quite a bit of it already and then the other piece of paper I used down here is a roll of the early espresso um, design so those are where I got those two so um, just wanted to show you what I was playing with this evening and um, I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks for watching.